Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the Painted Polish What Is Mauve, I believe the Final Saga collection. So there are seven polishes here all together. And this is supposed to be kind of like a playful collection answering the question of like what is a true mauve shade. So even though all the polishes in this collection are all like kind of along the same color line, the shades are all a little bit different and they're all considered mauve, which I think is pretty cool. So this will be available February 17th at 5 p.m. Pacific time. So I will link the Painted Polish website down below where you guys can check these out. Seven polishes all together and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Midnight Mauve and Painted Polish describes this as bronze, copper, lime green, and midnight blue glitters in a pale mauve curly base. So this is the only one in the collection that did run a little bit thick for me. There is a lot of glitter in here. The application of the glitter was really easy for me with this one. It was nice and evenly distributed. This did cover completely for me in two coats and you will definitely want a nice thick top coat for this because that glitter is gonna have some texture to it and it's also gonna be a little bit more difficult to remove because a lot of glitter means that the polish is gonna stick to your nail a bit. So that is two coats of Midnight Mauve and I did add matte top coat to this one as well. The next polish is called Mauve Meadows, and this is described as green and gold color shifting flakies, as well as purple and turquoise metallic flakies in a purple leaning mauve curly base. This one has a really good formula and a really good distribution of flakies. The base is opaque, but it doesn't hide those flakies at all, so they stand out really nicely. This one did cover completely for me in two coats, and there was quite a difference in the color of the base between the first and the second coat. This one will dry a lot smoother than the previous polish because these flakies are so much thinner than the glitter that's in that one, but you will still want top coat. This is going to look a lot better with a nice top coat on it, and you won't have the same difficulty removing these flakies as you would a glitter. So that is two coats of Mauve Meadows, and again, I did add matte top coat to this one. The next polish is called Mermaid and Mauve, and this is described as green and gold color shifting flakies with purple and turquoise metallic flakies in a purple leaning mauve curly base. I love, love, love all the different elements that are in this polish. It's so busy, but like in the best way. This one covered completely for me in two coats. I filmed my intro in my favorites after I did the photos for this collection, and I did not mention this polish as one of my favorites, and I'm really regretting it because looking back at this footage, this definitely should have been a favorite. And you won't have a ton of texture with this one or a ton of difficulty removing it, but you will still want top coat. So that is two coats of Mermaid and Mauve, and I did add matte top coat to this one, but this is the last one. The other polishes all have like holographic elements to them, and I didn't want to matte top coat those ones. The next polish is called On the Mauve, and this is a champagne holographic micro glitter mix in a purple leaning mauve curly base. I should pronounce it mauve for this one because it makes more sense with the pun, but I just don't think I can say that. Really good formula on this one as well. It's a little bit more jelly-ish, but it still covers completely in two coats. Because the base is a little bit more sheer with this one, those really tiny holographic glitters still sparkle really well once it's built up. This one did build up completely for me in two coats. I did need a slightly thicker second coat to fill in all that texture that I had left from the first. And because of that texture, you will want a nice thick top coat and you'll have a little bit of resistance when you try to remove this one. So that is two coats of On the Mauve. The next polish is called Mauvin and Shaken, and this is a pink leaning curly mauve hollow with crushed gold flakies. This is another one that should probably be pronounced the other way, but I just can't do it. I love the gold flakies in this. The contrast between those gold flakies and this shade of holographic polish is just so, so pretty. Good formula on this one as well. It built up completely for me in two coats. Those gold flakies distributed themselves really well. There wasn't any extra effort involved in the application at all. And while you should still use top coat, this did dry pretty smooth as well because those flakies are fairly small and the holographic that's in here is smooth. So that is two coats of Mauvin and Shaken. The next polish is called Must Be Mauve and this is a champagne holographic micro glitter mix in a pink leaning mauve curly base. I would say this is pretty much the same formula as on the mauve. It's a little bit jelly, but builds really well in two coats. And that jelly base does help the sparkle of those little tiny glitters show up really well. I do have that slight little piece of stray black glitter or something that came out on my pointer finger. Thankfully that was the first coat, so that will be covered up with the second. This did cover completely for me in two coats, but I feel like I had a slight bit of a color discrepancy between fingers. So you might want three if that's something that's gonna bother you. And you will also have some texture with this, so you will want top coat. So that is two coats of Must Be Mauve. 
And lastly, we have Magical Mauve, and this is described as a purple leaning mauve curly hollow with crushed gold flakies. This one is pretty much the same formula as Mauve and Shaken. It builds great in two coats, really good application. The flakies apply very well. It's not quite the same contrast, so just for me personally, it doesn't aesthetically appeal to me quite as much, but that is fully a personal preference thing, and the polish itself is still beautiful. And like the other polish with this finish, not a ton of texture going on here, so you will still want top coat, but it's not going to be anything like a glitter. So that is two coats of Magical Mauve. So if I'm picking two favorites here, I really like Midnight Mauve. I like the base, the base color is like cool, like the base color, but I really, really like the mix of glitters in here. I feel like having that orange and like navy blue in this mauve base is not something that I would think to do, but it looks really, really cool and I really appreciate that. I also really like how this looks with matte top coat. And I also really like Mauvin and Shaken because of those little gold flakes that are in there. I love that gold up against this warmer shade of mauve, this warmer mauve shade. So that is the What is Mauve, the final saga collection from Painted Polish. Again, I will link the Painted Polish website down below. Those release on February 17th at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Bye.